welcome once again to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make motion change animated thank you slide in powerpoint so we're actually going to create something like this just what we have on my screen so let me play this for you to see once again so this is how the whole thing is going to look like so you can see how the image switch over once the play button goes through so now let's see how to do this in order to do this let's open a blank new document in powerpoint so this is a blank new document i'm going to delete this page i'm going to delete this page we actually need two images to do this in order to start just go to the insert tab and then let's go to shapes and then pick some rectangular shape and draw that rectangular shape in order to cover the entire slide like this now from the effect format make sure you turn off the outline and then for the fill color let's pick a gray color and then also for gradient let's pick from center so this should give us something like this and then let's add a text box so go to insert and pick a text box draw your text box and then type in your text so this time around we are typing or thank you and let's try to use a font that will appear to be very bold so i'm going to use anton so this is the font i'm going to use and then also let's change the font size let it appear to be very big you can just click over here in order to increase the size okay now so we need to actually put in another information down here so we need to add another text box so let's draw another text box and let's say uh, thank you thank you and see you see you in our next video so let's put some information down like this and let's also try to make this bold so i'm just going to make it bold and then i want us to add some spacing so just go to the spacing option here and then let's try to put a space around 20 and then click on ok so this should give us something like this let me actually reduce the size a bit so i can accommodate all on a page like this okay so i think this is okay and we're now going to add our image so let me first add the first image here before i do that let me zoom out a bit let me zoom out a bit on this so now let's go to the insert tab and then go to pictures and then add image okay so the first image i'm going to add is this i'm going to add my first image like this now just right click on this image and then you have to send it to back so it's going to send this image to back now the next thing you want to do is select your shape that's the rectangular shape and select your thank you and then also select the sub text down there and then go to shape format and then go to where we have the mesh shape click and then select what subtract so when you do this you should be getting something like this you can see it's going to clip mouse the image to the thank you like this including the sub text we have over there now we need to bring our second image in order to do that I'm actually going to re, uh, actually zoom out on this a bit because we are going to place the other image side by side so go back to your insert tab and then go to image and then let's actually go and then bring the second picture here I'm going to use this like this so we are going to place it side by side like this okay if you like this video give me a thumb up and don't forget to turn on post notification and let me know what you feel about this video at the comment section so now we have this place side by side in order to make this layer visible i'm actually going to go to the shape format and then add some shape effect to this i'm going to go to shadow and let me just add this shadow effect the offset to this so now you can see the clear division between the two now what i want to do is to start the animation but before we do that we need to actually put in the progress bar okay so let's go back to a set and then pick a shape let's pick a rectangular shape and then let's draw that right here so now turn off the outline and then let's actually put in the fill color around black and then now let me try to drag this here and then just position this somewhere here between the two images now the next thing we need to do is to do the animation now before we do the animation if i move this text around if i move this image it needs to actually go through this text okay it needs to actually go through this text and replace the old image that we use so i can just bring this slightly on top right click and then what i'll do is i'll go to send under send to back just go ahead and go to what under send to back just click on the other arrow in send what send and click on send to back and then now if you can see this image is actually going to go through like this but we're actually going to animate this so we're going to animate this what we'll do next so now select the image and hold down 
the shift key and then select the progress bar we are going to use over here now go to animations go to animation and then go to add animation click on that and scroll down to the motion we are going to use the motion path and then the motion path select what lines you select lines like this and then let's go to effect option under effect option you want it to go to the left so select left and then for the duration let's give around six seconds okay now you can see we have these two images animated but let's pick this arrow the first for the progress click and move it all the way to the left like this so when you click all the way to the left just release it that way and we are going to do this next for the image as well so do equally do the same thing click on click and then drag it all the way to the left like this and then you can release it make sure it's in the same line with the previous one and then just release it that way you can actually move this a bit closer to the rectangular bar over there so now once everything is done you may like to play and see so go to slideshow and go from beginning and then click on this space bar and then you can see it's going to give you this amazing effect so basically this is how to create this if you think there's an easy way to do this let me know at the comment section if you enjoyed this video and also give me a suggestion as well so this is how to create this motion change effect using the thank you page like this using powerpoint thank you so much like subscribe for more videos like this bye bye